my plan today is tentatively that we are going to learn a little bit about Hanukkah, a little bit about Kwanzaa, a little bit about Christmas as a general, do some fun color pages, just do some um, different Hanukkah and Kwanzaa color pages, make our bread. What else are we going to do? It's Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day, so I found some stuff online for that, and some people's posted some stuff in a local homeschool um, Facebook page, and I'm going to print some stuff off about Pearl Harbor based on ages, and some color pages for the littles about Pearl Harbor, and we're going to read about that, and I found a, like an old um, newspaper article about Pearl Harbor. I'm going to print a copy of that off and read that with the kids as well, and that's probably going to be it for our day today. We're probably not going to do any of the stuff we normally do. Okay guys, so I showed you this at the end of yesterday's video, but I wanted to share it with you again in case you missed it. I am making some chicken and noodles, so last night before bed I started 10 pounds of chicken leg quarters with some celery, onions, garlic, salt and pepper, and let it cook for 12 hours to make a big old pot of chicken that I can debone, and also I can use the broth from it. But I moved that to the counter. Um, and I'm gonna let it cook for the last two hours before I pull it all out of the liquid and all that. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and start breakfast and I'm gonna make a great big breakfast this morning because it's cold outside and I just thought I'd fill everybody up. So I'm working on cooking up some sausage for some biscuits and gravy and I went ahead and just made the gravy from scratch, but I did not film that. So I've got my gravy made up and for anybody that wants pancakes, I'm making up some chocolate chip pancakes as well. And then I'm going to do some bacon and fried eggs for the ones that want a fried egg as well. What's this called? My happy day. Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day so the kids wanted me to read them some stuff about Pearl Harbor and then they also did some Christmas color pages and they worked on some Christmas cards for their grandmas and their grandpa and now I'm gonna go ahead and get our chicken and noodles started so I have some onion and celery and some butter I just kind of let that simmer until it was all soft and then now I'm adding my cream of chicken soup I did four cans of it and I'm gonna add some chicken broth to it and my boned out chicken and I'm just going to let that simmer for a little bit with uh, the frozen egg noodles. I'm doing two bags of those and um, just going to, like I said, let it simmer until dinner time and that'll be dinner tonight. The kids are also going to do bread in a bag and make their own bread to go with their dinner.
If you want to do this bread in a bag recipe with your kids, I will share the recipe in the description box below that we used. Um, the kids would add some ingredients, take it over to their spot, work on mixing and kneading the batter bag around, and then we would add more ingredients and they would go back, mix it some more, and then let it rest and then add more ingredients and so on and so forth until it was ready for them to knead and make up their loaf of bread. They really enjoyed it. It was fun. They you know, they learned a lot about how yeast works from watching their bags expand and such. So it was a fun afternoon thing for us to do. I went ahead and turned this down to a simmer from the low setting and I'm just going to let it simmer until dinner time. The kids all had leftover burgers and stuff for lunch and like the last two pieces of pizza that were left. So I'm going to make me a sweet kale salad and that's going to be my lunch today. up my wreath finally. Walk out here and see what my kids and animals are doing.
So I forgot to start bread for me and James, so I just warmed up some of these dinner rolls and that'll work. We're having rolls on the side of our chicken and noodles. The kids, all except Mika, have bread bowls. She she wanted to do braided bread with her, so that's what she did. Anyways, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed coming along with us today. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. And if you want to try the bread recipe, it's in the description box below.